So I'm perusing for my January recipes. And what do we do in January? We do healthy eating, healthy foods, not so much like sweets. We may have a sweet video this month. I don't know. But uh, it all, I've seen a lot of recipes all over the internet that excite me and I want to bring them to you guys. So this one excited me because it literally was, uh, it was tuna salad, but it's not made with mayonnaise. It's made with avocados. That looked, it looked amazing. The picture sold me. And I don't know about you when you shop for cookbooks, you better have some pictures, I'm telling you. You better have some full-size pictures that I can look at because my eyes do a lot of the shopping. So if it looks good, I want to bring it to you and see if it tastes good. So we're going to bring you in close. We're going to show you all the ingredients that we're going to be making our avocado tuna salad. Okay, guys. So we've got, uh, we've got all our stuff laid out. We're looking at uh, some celery, your tuna fish. Uh, we got the ones I think, and you can do water, oil, oil, whatever one you want. You got chives, parsley, avocados, onion. Uh, here's the lemon juice. Now, if you've ever used lemon in avocado salads, the lemon, the citrus, whether it's lemon or lime, um, will prevent your avocados from browning. So I'm guessing this is to keep it from browning. I'm not sure. If I need to squirt some more in, I will. But uh, then we uh, also pulled out a few. Now it asks for a clove of garlic. I don't know if they mean, when people say cloves, are they just talking this? I have to look that up. Or are they talking the whole clove, the whole bundle? So I'm, I've never seen them say, we need a bundle of, of garlic. Nope. It's either a teaspoon, tablespoon, cl five cloves, three cloves. So I'm guessing, I'm putting in extra, if this is too much, I'm putting it in anyway because I love garlic. Garlic and pepper are two of my favorite seasonings. So let's get started. I'll start getting everything prepared and then we'll put it all together, see if it's worth doing again. Guys, there's a lot of moving parts. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm doing this backwards. The recipe I'm using says to mix everything for the salad, then make the dressing. I'm gonna do the dressing first, then I'll mix the uh, salad together and put the dressing on top. Does that make sense? All right. So let's, uh, we're gonna start with about three tablespoons of oil. One, two, three. All right. Now, once again, there's a lot of moving parts in this salad. I never thought there were so many things going on, but there is. Then we're gonna take the meat from half an avocado. It's a little hard to hold. But we're going to get that cut and get the meat out of there. There we go. Go ahead and smash that up in the oil. Get that broken up. A little bit of salt. Take a pinch. Put it in there. Lemon juice, there we go, yep, a little bit more, there we go, that prevents the, uh, that's going to prevent the avocado from browning that lemon juice, get it all stirred up and mashed, and... all right, let's take the chives, put those in there, all right, take the garlic, put that in there. There we go, and I believe that's all for the dressing. Need a little bit more oil, put a little bit more oil in, a little bit more lemon juice, whatever you need. Go ahead and whisk that up and get it all creamy smooth. There we go. The faster you go, the better. Of course, you make a little bit more of a mess, but you get it to break down and get creamy smooth. First thing we're gonna do is start off with the tuna. All right, get that in. Next thing we're gonna do is start off with the celery. Get that in there. Then the onions, throw those in there. 
Then we got the parsley. Throw that in there. Okay, guys, we're going to take the lemon zest. Put that in also. We're going to use the same fork we had for the dressing. Get it all. Make sure that tuna gets mixed in and broken up. Can you see that? That's what it looks like right now. That's before the avocados and the dressing. So let's get the avocado pieces in. Now we're going to take our avocado pieces and put them in there. Get them all in there. Okay. See, we got our avocado in there. Okay, gently mix the avocado in with the tuna salad. Okay. Then we're going to take the, uh, before I mix too much, I'm going to take this dressing I made and pour it all on top. There we go. You can see that's what it looks like right there. We're going to gently stir everything. Kind of like folding it in. Remember I taught you guys how to fold things in gently so you don't destroy it. So we don't want to destroy the avocado pieces. So we want to gently fold everything in carefully. Okay guys, I'm very impressed. Look how beautiful this came out. This came out really good. It's got so many powerful flavors in here with the chives and the parsley. Unbelievable. You guys, make sure you make the dressing first because you don't want your avocados. Now this is best served and eaten the same day, okay? Because you don't want browning of your avocados just like guacamole, okay? So basically, this just looks gorgeous. The red onion, it's got some great colors in there. So let's give it a try. Okay guys, it's a new year. We're eating healthy. I ate all last year healthy. I've watched my weight. I've dropped some pounds. I'm really excited about what the next year is gonna bring. I'm still not at my goal yet, so I have plenty to do. This is a great side dish. It's got tuna, it's got avocado, it's got everything good in it. The onions, the chives, the parsley. Man, I feel like doing more salads now. I am so excited. Um, don't forget to join my Facebook group, okay? Because I'm going to be doing live broadcasts there and I'll be doing giveaways there. So go to my Facebook group, join that, and then be looking for me to announce that I've gone live. Probably, I'm thinking lunchtime. I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, let's give this a try real quick. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. That red onion, boy. That was awesome. Now I'm getting the lemon juice, the parsley, the tuna. It all comes together great. Guys, so refreshing. Great side dish. Give it a try. Remember to make the dressing first because you don't want to worry about your avocado browning before the guests get there. You want that dressing over everything so that the citrus will protect it. All right. I love you guys. I highly recommend this. I'm going to finish this little bowl and I'm going to pack it up and show Tammy when she gets home from work. So good. I love you. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye.